Hey guys, Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. What I wanted to do today is something a little bit different. For those of you that have been on my channel for a while, you know that I have an online real estate photography course called Camp Miles Real Estate Photography for the Real World. And I just updated it to version 2.0 a couple of months ago. What I thought I'd do today is I thought I would share one of the tips or one of the many tips that I give out in the course with regard to handling certain aspects of being a real estate photographer. And one of the scenarios that happens pretty regularly is something like this. You've done a photo shoot, client loves the pictures, but here's a master bedroom. And in the master bedroom, you have a television. The television, the screen is blank. It's a featureless black rectangle. And the agent will often, this is a very common scenario. The agent will often say, hey, Mr. or Ms. Photographer, can you superimpose a picture onto that TV screen so that the picture just looks better? It doesn't look so featureless. And the short answer is yes. And fortunately, it's surprisingly easy to learn how to do this. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. This video is also included in the course, but I thought I'd share it here on YouTube just to give you an idea of some of the tics, tips and tricks that I do offer in the course. So the first thing you wanna do is go to edit and then edit in Photoshop. It's gonna take this picture and bring it into Photoshop. And then let's say, for example, that in that same tour, the agent really liked one of the other photos. Oftentimes I'll do like dusk or evening photos. Here's an example right here. This is a courtyard view from the unit. It's beautiful, it's close to dusk. And the agent said, hey, can you put that picture onto the TV screens? That's very common. The agent might, might ask you to put like a iconic picture of something in your town or in your city into the TV screen as well. Um, in here in Southwest Florida, in Naples, we have this really beautiful pier and oftentimes agents will say, hey, can you put a picture of the pier onto the TV? But in this case, we're just gonna put this picture here from dusk from the unit onto the TV screen. So we're gonna edit it to in Photoshop. Then we'll move, move on over into Photoshop and here's what you're gonna do. Both pictures are here, they're open separately. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this picture and put it into the television in the master bedroom. There's a couple, way to do the, a couple of ways to do this, but I'm gonna select this entire image. I can either use the selection tool, which is right here, and I can just kind of brush through the whole picture, or I can also take the rectangle tool here, and I can also drag something through as well. There's lots of options here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the selection tool and just paint through the whole picture, just like this. And you can see the dotted uh, marching ants, as they're called, are all the way around the edges, and there's no dots in the middle of the picture. And then I'm gonna do Command C, which is copy. You can also go up here and do edit copy as well. Either one is fine. Then we're gonna go over to the picture where we wanna put that photo into the TV. We're gonna do Command V, which is paste. You can also do edit paste, which is right here. Now, as you can see, this covers the entire screen. This is not an ideal scenario, but while we're in this layer, we're gonna do Command T, which is transform. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this thing down, just make it smaller. And I'm gonna move it up over the television like this. And it's kind of covering the TV. So I really wanna get an idea as to how big it needs to be relative to the TV. So I'm gonna to tone down the opacity, which is over here. Bring it down to 50% thereabouts. And by the way, this, there's more than one way to do this. I'm just showing you the way that I like to do it. And then I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. You do Command Plus. And that kind of drags it. I'm just gonna move over to the TV. And at this point, what you wanna do while you're still in Transform, you wanna go up to Edit, Transform, distort and then all you need to do is take these anchor points in the corner and move them to the corners of the television like so now by the way just for demonstration purposes this does not have to be perfect i'm just showing you how you do this as you can get as anal retentive with this as you want that's totally up to you and i'm just going to drag these points into the tv and i'm going to get it about you know pretty approximate it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be close enough it looks a little bit off right there so i want to get just a little frame around the edge of the TV so that we're fairly consistent. Again, you can play with this as much as you want and you can get as precise or as imprecise as you'd like to, totally up to you. That looks pretty good to me. Before I press enter, you can press enter, it doesn't matter, but before I press enter, I'm gonna raise my opacity back and then I'm gonna press enter. And you'll note, come on, enter. I wanna be done with it, there we go. I'm gonna back out of the picture and voila. Just like that, we have superimposed a picture onto the TV screen. So if you're interested in getting more tips and tricks like this, you can purchase my course, Camp Miles, Real Estate Photography for the Real World. It's six hours long, and it teaches you how to break into the real estate photography business. If you are already a professional photographer that does real estate, you likely will get a nugget or two out of the course. You probably won't learn as much as a person who's just thinking about getting into it or is somewhat of a beginner. 
Um, it's a great place to get you going in real estate photography and getting a career started in running a real estate photography business. So I hope, hope you found this tip helpful. I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give me a like or better yet subscribe. Links to purchase the course are down below. And until the next time, happy shooting.